Hey guys, welcome to the Protect tutorial and in this chapter 17 of Angular 8 unit testing with Chapman and Karma, we are going to look at reactive forms. Objective of this video is to know how to unit test the reactive forms or the model driven form. Now, here is a simple login form example that I have prepared and in this example, we have a username, password and a submit button. So, if I enter the proper username, and a proper password the submit button will be enabled if username or password is not proper the submit button would be disabled if i have a proper email here it would be enabled and if i click on the submit button it will just simply submit the form and return as form is submitted successfully so this is a simple form and this is a dummy form that i have prepared so now let's go and see the actual code that I have written for this dummy form. Now, I have prepared a form demo component for demonstration of this login form. And here, this is the simple code for this login form. So, this is the template where I have included the form group and then form control name, which will have user email and user password. Along with that, the submit button is also there and it will be enabled only if this login form is valid now this is a reactive form hence whenever we are creating a reactive form we usually create a form group which is created here then assign that form group certain fields now here i have created the instance user and created user email and user password form controls and you can see i have assigned certain validators to it for validation purpose so the validators required and validator email will be for user email and validator required and min length 6 these are for user password so this validation is there then there is a submit login form button which if the form is valid it will show us the message form submitted successfully now we want to unit test the functionality of this form and for that there is a already spec file that is generated along with the form demo component was generated so there is standard component is created fixture is created now when the test bed is created or configured in this before each we have included form demo component and along with the form demo component we have included reactive functionality so in order to use form group or form control we have to include the reactive functionality now let's go and write the test cases for validation of each form control that is user email and password along with the submit button and also the validation of the form now after the test bed is created we have created fixture and also given an instance to our component now before moving ahead with unit testing of form we are going to unit test the validity of the individual fields first now first will be user email so i have written some of the test cases for user email testing now here are two test cases that i have written the first one will check whether the email address is invalid or not now in order to get the information of the email we are going to get it using component dot login form dot controls and user email so the login form which is a form group contains the information of all the form controls present within it and in order to access them we can access using controls and whatever the name of that control is now in this case it is user email now we are first going to check whether it is valid now it will be false because there is no value set for it then we are also checking whether the user email field is pristine pristine means what that it has not been touched now since there is no value set it is true hence to be true to then there is email dot errors now errors is a array that will contains all the errors that are generated by this field now in our case it is email and this error can contain multiple errors now one of them is required which we have set now here it will be true why because until and unless user enters the value into our user email text box it will remain empty 
which is not a valid value for our email text box. Now then we have tried to set a value to our email text box which will be ABC which is again not a valid value because email usually contains at the rate and a dot. So for that I have written another expect which will tell us email dot errors and it will contain an email to be truthy. That means there is an error for email as well. Now why this is included here? Because when we had written the form group, we had included validators dot email. So this will check that the email entered in this form control is valid or not and it is in a proper format or not. So same since the value set is not as per the standards, it will be giving an error which will be to be truthy. Then the next unit test case that I have written is going to check whether the value entered in the text box for email is valid or not. So here again I have taken out of the, the control information and I have set a proper value abc at the rate gmail.com. Now here I am going to expect email dot errors to be null. Now why null? Since the value is set in a proper standards and as per the requirement provided when the control is created, the errors will not be there and hence they will be null. Now I am going to save this and both of these unit test cases will be executed successfully. Now let's go ahead see it in the browser. Now here you can see email check should check users email address is invalid and should check users correct email address is entered. Both the test cases have been executed successfully. Now the next field is the password field. Now let's go and write some test cases for password field as well. Here I am going to write some test cases here. So I have already written two test cases. When we had created the password form control, we had added two validations. It is mandatory that is validators dot require and validators dot min length that is the minimum length of the password has to be six that is six characters. Now in this one I have added two test cases. Now in the first test case I have created a variable that will help us to access the user password field or the form control from our login. Now first we are going to check expect password dot errors required to be true now since there is no value entered the required error will be true then again we have set the value one two three four now when we had created the password field a validation was added that its length has to be six now here i have only entered four characters in that case expect password dot errors min length to be true that means there is a error for min length as well. Then the next text case is regarding checking the password field is valid or not. Now here I have said value for password to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and here I have checked password dot errors to be null. That means if the value is set correctly the errors will be null and again I have checked another thing here that password dot valid to be true to. That means our password form control is valid or the value entered in the password form control is valid. These two test cases will be executed successfully. And here you can see both the test cases are executed successfully. Once we have made sure that our individual fields are valid or not, then we can unit test our form as a group. So let's go and Write test cases for our form. So again for the form I have written two test cases. First one this is going to be checking whether the form is valid or not. So component dot login form dot valid. So same way component dot login form dot controls in the square brackets the user email or password and then dot valid. So that would have checked individually that the given field is valid or not but here when we write it like this it will check component dot login form dot valid that means whether the form is valid or not that means all the fields within that form are 
having the valid values or not. Now, in this case, there is no value set for either user email or password. Hence, it will be valid to be false. That means it is not valid. Then there is a second test case that I have written is to check whether the form is valid. Now, in this case, what I have done is component dot login form dot controls, and I have set a proper value for email that is abc at the rate xyz dot com and a proper value for user password form control that is one two three four five six which is six characters. Now here I am going to check component dot login form dot valid. Now this will be true why because both the values are entered as per the requirement. Hence these two test cases will be passing as well and if I enter any one of these values as wrong, so here I have entered password as only five characters. So if I write it like that, this test case will fail. Now let's first look at the negative scenario. So I have saved this and let's go and give it on the browser. Now our test case should check form is valid or not when the values are entered is failed. Why this has failed? Because one of the fields is not proper. Hence, component dot login form dot valid will be false, and we cannot expect it to be true. Hence, our test case has failed. And if I had entered a proper value here and saved it, this test case would pass. Now let's see it on the browser. Now here you can see first form check should check form is valid or not when values are entered is passed successfully, and this has passed successfully because all the fields within the login form were entered correctly. If a single field is not entered correctly, the form validation will fail. Now, next thing I'm going to check whether what happens when the user clicks on submit once the valid form information is entered in the form controls. Now, let's go and write a test case for that. And in this test case, we're going to check when the button will be enabled and when the button will be disabled. So here is a simple test case that I have written and it is going to check whether the form is submitted or not. Now in this test case, first thing I have done is check whether the login form is invalid or not. Yes, it will be invalid since there is no value entered in our form controls. The login form dot invalid will be true. Then I have created a variable for our button. So there is an input which is of type submit. I'm going to create a variable to access its properties. And then the next thing I am checking is whether that particular button is disabled or not. Since the form is invalid, the button will be disabled. Hence, button dot native element dot disable to be true. So the test case till this point will pass. Then I am entering correct values to our form field. So the user email will be set to the proper email address and the password will have a proper password with minimum length of 6. Then using the fixture, I am going to detect the changes and here again now I am going to check button dot native element dot disable to be false. Now why this will be false or the button will be enabled in this case because the form is valid and the form is valid because both the form control fields are having the proper values hence this button is enabled and disabled dot to be false will be executed successfully then comes the part when the user clicks on the submit button so here you don't have to actually call the submit method here just component dot submit login form. So here we are calling the submit method and then fixture dot detections. So when we are calling the submit button, we are setting a message that the form is submitted successfully. So for that, I am checking whether that message is properly displayed on the given div or not. So for that, a success message div is created. So in this, I am just going to take the text from our div and going to check whether the success div to the form submitted successfully that is the text in the div is this and that text is only after 
the form is submitted that is the submit button is clicked now let's go and save this now here you can see should check form is submitted this unit test case is executed successfully so when we are entering values that is the correct values to all the form controls within the reactive form the form will be valid and we will be able to unit test it with a validity if any one of the field is not entered properly the form unit test case to check the validity will fail so this is how you can unit test a reactive form if you have any queries please provide us in the comments do subscribe and thank you